my Ford F-250 truck. The reason why I want to use this is because it's heavy duty, solid, very solid metal, and it's got a fold here. Um, if you look at it, it's folded, so like it's like the door is um, on the truck. It's got that nice passenger thing, so we're gonna weld this piece in on the bottom of the door. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it looks really good when we do it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of it up. Today I didn't get to do as much as I wanted because I had to, uh, I had to cut up all this metal. Um, that was my Chevy Tahoe's tailgate. That was the tailgate right there. Um, it's cutting pieces off to me. Cutting pieces off to make my um, pieces that I need for the Ford truck. I've gotten. This was the first piece you guys were watching me cut and the only piece you guys were watching me cut. It's like, a, you know, I could stuff it under. It's got a back piece. It's a really solid piece right there. Um, you see that piece is in there from, starts from there, runs all the way across, which fills a big gap. I'm gonna stuff a piece in that corner there that's gone. Let's see the other side really quick. Also, I got more of this Bondo done here. There's a big thing of Bondo up here and I've been starting to sand it. You can kind of see like right there and right there. And some of the spots are coming through. Those are high spots, um, but I'm gonna end up having to bond over the entire back of the truck. It's ridiculous, but gotta do what you gotta do. Um, then I got this piece. I got some more Bondo here because there was that hole that I showed you guys. I stuffed it from the back with this fiberglass and uh, that really made that nice and solid. Then I'll knock this down and I'll do a quick skim coat of Bondo over all this and then sand it back down, skim coat over this, then sand it down nice and smooth. And then I got this last, I got this very last um, piece right here that I put in. This is actually two pieces. I seam together with tape. I'll push this flush with this and I'll tack weld these in and then I'll fill the rest. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The rest of it will be filled. Um, the rest of it will be filled up and uh, I'll be ready to start priming and spraying pretty soon if this all goes well and I get it all tacked in there tomorrow. I'm hoping that it all gets, um, that tomorrow goes well and I can get it all in there so that I can keep moving forward because I really got to get this truck done. So, um, yeah, that's it for today. I'm going to get out of here. I got to get home so my wife can go grocery shopping before this big coronavirus scare. Um, the COVID-19, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I'm leaving the shop a mess today. I can't even clean up. I'm working on this bearing job too. I got all these tools and bullshit laying around, so I'm just going to leave it all out. Uh, but all right, guys, thanks for watching today. And if you're watching, you hit me that subscribe thumbs up leave any comments if you have any questions and uh i'll be talking to you guys soon
All right, what's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, I'm just working on the next few steps here. I've got the piece welded in from my tailgate. Uh, I glued these pieces in because the welder wasn't working so well. Um, I filled this rustle. I just was showing you there's a big old hole in this front fender and I got that filled with some cardboard and fiberglass right now. I was able to sneak behind it and put my hand back there, which helped a ton. Um, so I'm gonna get that all cooked up today. I'm gonna get this piece entirely covered up today. I'm gonna get this piece fixed. Hopefully I can get this piece done and fixed on today. We'll see though. Um, you know, we're gonna feel that. It's a big dent here. Needs a ton of filling. So I'm gonna get to that. We've gotten a ton more done on the bed. Um, really got all these dents out, just a little bit of silver coming through. And then we're fixing that top piece. Uh, and then on the other side, I got that piece also glued in for the back door. I don't have much space to get over there. I'll get more of this clip later. But uh, I fixed that a little bit. I also filled this hole here, which I'm about to finish this arch today. But uh, for right now, I'm focusing on the other side. Gonna get the bondo on there and uh, let it all dry after that because then I gotta run to the parts store. So right now, I'm just gonna mix up my bondo and get this piece all cooked up and get some bondo uh, on this and make this piece partly filled in for now and then let that dry and move to the other side or whatever I can do. But I'll show you guys as I'm going and how this looks. It's about to take a ton of bondo. What's up? And if you've been watching, hit that subscribe. So right now, um, I've gotten all the pieces of metal in and they're all pretty solid. Uh, like I said, this bondo with hair, fiberglass, whatever you want to call it, it's some very strong stuff. And I actually was able to glue this piece in with the bondo with hair. So uh, it's not easy, but after a few times doing it, it turns out really well. And it gets easier as you go along. Uh, so I got that done. And I got this piece in down the door line, um, which is pretty good. Again, just, I had an epoxy on this one, but uh, really the fiberglass is what's gonna hold it in there so nice and tight. So um, yeah, that's coming along. I'm gonna grind this stuff down, same with the other side, and then I'll bond over that like I did here and uh, fill in any dents or anything that I need to fill with the bondo. And here's that uh, hole that I started with earlier. I'm gonna finish off this corner and then chop that bottom, like lift it about so it's flush. But yeah, I filled this in. You saw it was a big hole earlier. So this has also um, gotten much better too. And this is, I mean, you can hardly tell it's Bondo. It's very thin, but that's just over top of that fiberglass and that fiberglass is just so strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my whiz wheel. I'll, knock this down so that I can get Bondo over top of all this. And then once I get the Bondo over this, same goes, I knock that down one time, get a final layer over the Bondo, and uh, it'll be pretty much ready for primer after that. The truck's going pretty well. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna get this tail, this whole bed done by the end of the day um, so that tomorrow I can start masking the rest of the truck like I have up there but I'll get cover that window for the primer, but I'll mask the rest of the truck and start spraying maybe by this weekend is as well as it's going. So uh, I'll show you guys when I'm done with the next step and see how much farther I've gotten and show you all my progress and tell you about it. And uh, thanks for watching and give me that thumbs up and subscribe and keep on watching.